。感谢罗密欧不远万里来到中国，而且长久的住下来，这么热爱中国，我们给罗密欧掌声。大家好，我是来自意大利原装进口的罗密欧。大家好，我是罗密欧。Hello， 我回来啦！有没有想我呢 ？In 2006, I made up my mind to visit China and explore authentic Chinese culture. Now I am a social media influencer and host, and I enjoy my life here. Hi guys, I'm Romeo. I'm Italian, and today we are going to take the metro all together. We'll be going around the city, and we will discover huge changes over the last 16 years. So let's go. In 2016 years ago, to take the metro, obviously you need to buy a ticket. And back at the time, you could use two renminbi and exchange one coin-sized ticket, like. Goodbye. 谢谢你。And now we are in a cashless society in China, so nobody is going to use cash for buying tickets. We use our QR code and directly enter into the metro, or you can use the NFC service of your phone. This is one of the busiest stations in China. Can you imagine? Every day, 437,000 people cross by, pass by this metro station. It's like the entire population of the Italian city of Bologna taking the metro every day. That's insane. And now we are in Zhujiang New Town. This is the most prosperous district in China, guys. And I want to show you something. This is the Canton Tower, 600 meters high, the landmark of the city. But what's interesting is that in the 1990s, here, this place where I'm standing right now, there was nothing. And then in 2006, all of this became a huge construction site. When I came here in 2006, all of These buildings were not here. Any one of them. Wow, that's amazing. So this is Yongqing Fang. It's a very old part of the city. Actually, it's not far away from Huangshan Metro Station on line number one. But when I came here in 2006, it was not like this. A lot of collapsed houses,、uh, no shops, no young people. Completely different. And fast forwarding to 2015, the local government started to renovate this place. You can see here a lot of old buildings, very beautifully renovated. But at the same time, you can even experience and feel new trends and vitality in here. Walking through this old century alley, actually you can go and explore Bruce Lee's ancestral home, or you can have. A fun in beautiful bookstores or coffee shops, and at the same time, you can even experience local traditional cultural activities. For example, printing, ceramics, tea art, and more. When I came in Wenzhou in 2006, we only had three lines, and the line that I took the most is line number one. That's the oldest line in Wenzhou. It was opened in 1997, and now look at this. We have. 15 lines and 11 lines and under construction right now. It's amazing. Talking about modernity and the future, actually by the year 2035, the overall Guangzhou Metro will be 2,000 kilometers long. Connecting the city to the nearby areas in half an hour, and connecting the cities to the other cities in the Great Bay Area in an hour. What a future! Every time I take the subway, I say to myself, "Wow, the development of this city is going so fast." I'm very honored to have lived here for 16 years and witness the great changes happening here.